Okay, we pressed the original carrier on into the new bearing and things are working pretty smoothly. Got the pin safety wire, got the roll pin in, so that should be good to go. Now, I'm going to mount it to the motor. If you noticed, the Tempest is gone. Yay! So we're going to take and mount it into the chassis now. Awesome. And over here, my brother's pretty much got this patch done. Check it out. Better than new. Okay, now that we've got the chassis inside and put it up on the lift, my next project is going to be in squirt this all inside the frame. Probably going to make a heck of a mess so we get plastic all over the floor. <laughs> Catch the drippings. So that's what's next for me. Well, with all the holes in the frame and this two-foot hose, you can pretty much get to every section of the frame. It's got just so many holes in it. And over here, my brother's making a buck put those little indents in the bottom of the fender where the bolts go. Pretty cool. Alright, it's the end of the day video. As I showed you earlier, we got the uh, Eastwood frame rust preventer into the frame. And like I said before, there were just so many holes in there, you pretty much can get the whole frame with that stuff. Got about a two foot hose on it. So that's done. And over here, got the flywheel clutch pressure plate on. Lock tied it down, torque down. Over here, my brother made this buck to uh, press those holes in the bottom of this lip here where the bolts go. Worked pretty darn good. And I sanded the other side of the car so both sides have been scuffed. Now I just gotta do the top and the bottom. And there's a little body work left to do. Got some whoop de doos on the front volants that need metal finished out. And I pressed the original carrier into the new throw up bearing and we now have clutch action so that's squared away so tomorrow we'll take this and put it on that later